Good morning, everyone. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a different format. Um, usually when I'm sitting in my desk area and doing makeup for you guys, it's supposed to be like a get ready with me type of video. So you turn it on and I just kind of ramble about my random thoughts that I'm having. And it's kind of like we're hanging out while you do your makeup or you're hanging out around your house or wherever you are watching the video. So it's not necessarily a makeup tutorial because there's not much technique or anything like that in the video. I just kind of show you what I'm doing as I slap it on my face. So it's been highly requested that I do a everyday look. So essentially makeup that I wear on a daily basis. Now the reason why this is somewhat, not difficult, but my makeup changes every single day. I never usually wear the same things multiple days in a row unless I'm really really liking it maybe like one product in particular but it's never a full-blown look that I'm doing every single day so I'm doing it in this type of format so I can kind of walk you guys through the process and explain to you my thought process while I'm getting ready so I mean let's just jump into it I'm not so of course I always start off with sunscreen you want to say hi yeah oh you are such a baby <laughs> say hello oh <laughs> you big old baby today i'm just going to use the leaders uv protection aqua sun liquid i wear this one a lot was from neogen which i've talked about in the past but i don't know i get kind of bored of using the same products over and over again and since i do reviews about beauty things and everything like that I change things around a lot so that I can, you know, test different products out for you guys. I should probably get something to pull my hair back. Put one of these guys on to hold my hair back. Okay. Next, I fill in my eyebrows. So the eyebrow kit that I use almost every single day is the ELF Professional Eyebrow Kit. And how I fill my eyebrows in is I just take this gel side and I just line the under part of my eyebrow to like make it nice and crisp and the end like that. And then I just take the powdered side and then I just fill in the rest of my eyebrow. And then I always run through it with a spoolie brush to kind of take out any excess product. And then I'm gonna put on a lip balm on my lips just so when I go in to put on my lip product, um, it's my lips aren't super chapped. Next, I uh, just use an eye base. I'll use any eye base that I have open at the time. Right now, this one just happens to be from Tony Moly, and it is the Panda Brightening Eye Base. So now we're gonna move on to my eyeshadows. And to be completely honest, I change my eyeshadows up every single day. But for the most part, I'll wear usually about three to five different colors on my lid. I always put on like a shimmery color on my base, just to show you guys a couple in particular that I've been liking. I like this one from a Tooth House, it's in BE-108. It's the one that I broke in my Korean natural, sophisticated makeup look. Also, I like this one from VDL in Bridal Shower and this one from 3CE in Hashtag Vanilla. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one from VDL in Bridal Shower and I just put it all over my lid. Okay, next I usually always put some type of matte brown into my crease. I really like this one from Etude House and this is in BR407. And then I also like this one from MAC which is this one right here and it is in Saddle. Like I said, this is kind of like an everyday more natural look. Sometimes I'll wear like green on my lids, sometimes I'll wear purple. Changes every single day but if I just don't want to think about what to apply on my face, this is kind of my go-to. Next, I usually just put some type of darker color on the outer V. Just to again show you some colors that I like to wear on my outer V. I like this one from Innisfree. It's in shade 10 and it's just kind of like a dark kind of plummy brown color. It's matte. I also like from VDL. This is in Gold Olive which is a very dark shimmery olive color. <laughs> and then I included this in the recent products that I'm loving. This is from ColourPop and it's in the shade Bay. And then last but not least, I also will use this one right here, which is called Dance in the Dark. So I'm just going to use this shade Bay. And that's what that looks like. 
Of course, I'm going to line the top of my lash line, so just some eyeliner recommendations for that. If you like gel liners, I really like this Etude House Drawing Show Creamy Liner. And if you like liquid pen liners, I really like the Clio Kill Black Pen Liner. I always just make a wing. Now something that is super important for me is I always line the inner rim of my eye like that. Then I'm going to move on to curl my lashes. And then for my mascara, I switch my mascara around a lot, but it is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous Mascara and it is just so good. Okay, so now that I have applied my mascara and I finished off my eye makeup, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my face makeup. This is one that I just reviewed recently and I have a first impressions on it. It's the Etude House Big Cover Concealer BB and this is too light for my skin. It's in shade 3 beige I believe. So I, what I do is I actually just kind of put it on the center of my face and then I use a foundation that is a little bit darker. This is the Kate Powder List Cover foundation and I just actually put it on the outside of my face and this is like my version of contouring and then I just go back and blend everything together with a brush. Next I go in for concealer and I've really been enjoying this at Tude House Big Cover Cushion Concealer and I just go back in with this air puff except I like to mist it down a little bit just to give a nice finish to it so I take any type of mist spray right now I'm using the Innisfree green tea mineral mist and this just blends in like a dream. Now I'm just going to go ahead and set that with a powder and the powder that I've been working on right now is the Etude House Dreaming Swan Veiling Pack. So I have several bronzers that I switch around with. My Physician's Formula pH Matchmaker Bronzer which I actually hit pan on this so you can see how much I really like this. I actually think I'm going to use this because I haven't used it in the last day or two and I really like this bronzer. Then for blush I'm going to use this Posy Cream Blush from MAC. Finally it is time for my lips and again with my lipsticks I change them every day and I will mix products together and try different colors and things like that so recently I've really been liking these two together. This is the Etude House My Jelly Lips Talk in JPK004. And then I've been blending this Moonshot Color Moonwalk Cream Paint in 103 Strawberry Gelato on my lips. But I'll actually use a lip brush with this, these Moonshot Cream Paints because this thing is pointless. This doe foot applicator, it makes no sense. It makes applying the lip product on just ridiculously difficult. Alright guys, so that is my everyday makeup look. Like I said, this changes every single day. I change literally like my bronzers, my powders, my foundation, my eyeshadow, my mascaras, everything every single day. So I'm just showing you the essentials that I always do to my face. So I hope you guys are all happy and healthy and as always, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family. And I will see you guys in my next video.